Hello Forum Academy and welcome to Art Lockdown. Today we're going to be focusing on how to draw a mouth. This is my mouth, I've done a closed one and an open one. So today I would like you to try and do your lips closed. And also I wanted to show you that um, the, the top part of the lips can be all, all different shaped. Um, you, you also could be just maybe a little bit curvy here or a little bit bigger. and Or it, it could be even just like like that. So um, let's let's begin. Right. So material-wise, you need a paper, you need a pencil, you need a rubber, and you also need a mirror. So please do good looking, and don't guess, because otherwise it won't be accurate and it won't look realistic. Also, color. I'm going to be not just using watercolours, uh, for the finishing touch I like to use um, colouring pencils. So I'll be using the colouring pencils, I'll be using um, two different uh, diff different shades of brown and I'll be using uh, two different um, shades of red as well and I'll be using the white crayon, the, sorry, the white colouring pencil, that would be my highlight. Okay, so that's all you need. So first of all, what I do is I'll draw my line of symmetry. So that's going to help me. I'm going to focus on shape and line today. So we're going to do the shape. So we start with your upper lip. So my upper lip, kind of like very sharp. And how far does it go? And then I'm going to do the other side, using my construction lines just to help me. You can start, you could, you could either also measure as well, if that helps, with your pencil or with your finger and thumb, whatever helps you. I have a small lip or lips so I know my top lip here my lips will be much smaller than my bottom right so I'm just going to measure that to that should end around about here there you go And then once you're happy with your shape, you could um, rub out the con construction lines. Just rub these ones as well. Right, so my shape, quite happy with my shape. Because that is, when looking at the mirror, yes, that is my shape my shape of my lips. Okay, and then we're going to start adding watercolours. Um, so the brush I'm using, you could use two or three. I'm going to be using two. I'm just going to add a bit of red. Nice, I like to mix colours. A bit of white. Yep, I'm kind of happy with that colour. Right, so this is this is this is the important bit, is, is the line bit, the line. So the line, so say my just quickly draw my lips. I do it in a doing a sketchy way. So um, the lines with my brush strokes, I'll be using the lines like this. So, and then for the bottom, straight down at the middle, straight down, and then kind of like a contour line. So I'm distinguishing three 
shapes. So it, it looks more like 3D. Okay. That is exactly what I'm going to do with the brush. So again, straight down here. That is what I'm doing. And I always start with a lighter colour. And then gradually build it up with darker colours. So we're going to do the wet to wet on wet technique. So while the water colour is still wet, I like it because you get that nice blending effect. I'm trying to create those lines as well. Can you see? And then it's going to be darker, so you can see. I'm not just darker at the bottom bit here. So I'm doing short lines now. Dab, 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 dab. And then again. short, long lines, just to make it look more effective, yeah? And then I'm going to add brown, and if you can see it, and again the direction, it's really important how you hold the, br uh, the brush as well, this is how I'm holding it, so anything like, you have to put your brush in the, kind of in the middle, We'll just do it like straight, hold it up straight, just to have a good control of it. Just a bit more water. So, I can see some dark shades here. Like a feathery effect. A little bit down at the bottom as well. I can see. Red. I'm just going to see if I can just blend that nicely. So we're doing loads of blending techniques here as well with the brown. So short lines again. And there you go. Um, so you could leave it like this if you want to, or you could add a little bit more darker in the middle. Um, but I'm going to finish it off, so we're on the refine stage, which means I'm going to use my colouring pencils. Um, it's very important at this stage also that it, that it's dried properly. And we always start with a lighter colour. So I'm going to start with my reds. I'm going to start with, with my lighter. So it, Wait for a couple of seconds until it's dry. Again, you're doing the same technique. And then the top bit as well. Just I'm doing it very gently. Just light pressure. And then that's done. Maybe a bit of maybe red. Now I'm putting a little bit of pressure now. So you can see it. Because we know the middle bit's really dark. And then add your, um, I don't really like that color so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use a dark brown. So I've got Good definition. And then your outline. Okay. So 
so gently, not too harsh. I'm going to do it very gently, 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 gently. Not too much dark. Maybe a little bit of heat at the bottom. <gasps> not too much. And that's it. That's it. Keep it simple. And then use, I've left these white purposely because I like to have a little bit of a reflection. And then you, could, you can use that just to blend in, just gently. Just a little bit. Not too much. So you can see the lines. Can you see the lines I'm still creating? So you can see them. No, I'm just blending in gently. And that's it. Okay, so you go and have a go at doing um, your mouth yourself. Please give me your feedback and any request, let me know. That would be great. Okay, bye.